Today you'll be playing a new game called TMI, AKA too much information. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh. I'm too scared. Much. Normally when you say TMI, it's not a good thing. We're going to show you a video containing a lot of facts and information about the specific topic. After the video is finished, we're gonna ask you 10 questions about it and you'll need to answer all 10 correctly to win the game. All 10? Dang, that's a lot. Okay, I gotta put like my thinking cap on. It sounds fun. I'm already churning inside, hoping I'll get everything right. If you get stuck on a question, we're giving you one bailout to use whenever you want. We'll display three multiple choices on screen with one being the correct answer. Oh, okay. Just one, huh? Ooh, choose wisely. The subject of today's video is Star Wars. Okay, I think I'll do Decent. No, I'm confident. I already have a lot of information about Star Wars. Oh, okay, now it's hype, because I love Star Wars. Here we go. Pay attention, because I'll only play the video once. Can I take notes? No. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Okay, geez, man. All right, here we go. The original Star Wars film had a production budget of $11, 11 million. million. Dollars. Yoda's first name is Minch, although it's never mentioned in any of the films. R2-D2 stands at a height of 43 inches. Tupac Shakur auditioned for the role of Mace Windu in The Phantom Menace. The puppet for Jabba the Hutt weighed 2,000 pounds. Wow. David Lynch turned down an offer to direct Return of the Jedi. The sound effects oh were really by sound effects of the lightsabers were made by combining the hum of an old television and the buzz of a film projector. The language spoken by the Ewoks is a combination of Tibetan oh, and God, Nepalese. Terrible. Harrison Ford was paid $10,000 for his performance in the original oh, Star Wars. The scenes on the planet <laughs> I'm Tatooine were filmed. The scenes on the planet Tatooine were filmed in Tunisia. Chewbacca right. was partially inspired by George Lucas's dog Indiana. The famous text cross at the beginning of episode four took three hours to film. Well, in The Phantom Menace, Qui-Gon Jinn's communicator device is an altered woman's Gillette razor. In A New insane. Hope, when Leia is prisoner on the Death Star, her prison no. cell number is 2187. There it is. And O to Lucas' first film, THX 1138. The man who played okay. Wedge Antilles in the original trilogy I'm is lost. Ewan McGregor's The man who played Wedge Antilles in the original trilogy is Ewan McGregor's uncle. The spacesuit worn by Bounty Hunter Boss was recycled from the original Doctor Who series. Kira Knightley played Natalie Portman's decoy in The Phantom Menace. The famed Millennium Falcon is a white T-1300 so much Corellian information! The famed Millennium Falcon is a white T-1300 Corellian transport ship. Three members of NSYNC have brief cameos in episode two, though their scenes were ultimately cut. In the original Star oh Wars movie, God. Darth Vader This is too much information! <laughs> in the original Star Wars movie, Darth Vader has a total of 12 minutes of screen time. That was a lot of information. The name of the game is very fitting because that was just too much and I'm over overwhelmed. I knew a couple of things. I knew Harrison Ford only made $10,000 on the first movie. Okay, you have all the information. Let's find out if you can remember it. Oh my god, dude, I'm nervous. There's a lot of information thrown at me at once. Ask me the questions before I forget. First question. Which Star Wars character was partially inspired by George Lucas's dog, Indiana? What's his name? Chewbacca? Chewbacca. Chewbacca? Chewbacca. If I remember correctly, it was Chewbacca. The obvious answer is Chewie, right? Because Chewie's like a dog. I'm just gonna go with Chewie. Oh, the, the big ape guy. I don't remember the name. Do you want to use a bailout then? I'll bail out. You have chosen to use your only bailout for this game. We'll display the correct answer on screen along with two wrong answers, and it'll be up to you to choose which one is in fact the correct answer to move forward. Is it Yoda, Jabba the Hutt, or Chewbacca? <sighs> I'm gonna go with Chewbacca. You're correct. Oh, thank God. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yes. Oh. Ah ah! He scores. Yeah. All right. One. One down. Nine to go. What rapper auditioned for the role of Mace Windu in The Phantom Menace? Ah, uh, Tupac Shakur. Tupac. Tupac. Tupac Shakur. I remember seeing the face. Tupac Shakur. Two iconic people for one iconic role. The one and only Tupac Shakur. I can see him. Talented. A uh, good looking guy, but I just don't know his name. I am so not into rap. Was Tupac, was he a rapper? He was a rapper and he is the correct answer. Get out of here! Yes! Yes. Oh, thank God. Two out of 10. Thank God, okay. <sighs> Question three. How much money was Harrison Ford paid for his role in the original Star Wars film? $10,000. $10,000? $10,000! I remember thinking that was not a lot. $10,000. I'm confident. 11 million? Is that what it was? Maybe I'm wrong. I feel like that's a lot. I'll do the bailout. Okay, here's your one multiple choice bailout for the game. Okay, good thing I didn't say 11 million because that was way off. I feel like he had to have gotten paid like at least 10,000, right? But then again, it wasn't that big of a film when it was first made. 
So maybe 2,000? I'm so torn. I guess I'll just say 2,000. I'm sorry, that is incorrect and you are out of the game. <laughs> oh no! $10,000 is correct. Okay. <sighs> I remember this because I was shocked of how low it was. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I feel like such a true fan. Like I'm not letting anyone down. I actually got to see the pre-premiere of Star Wars and I got to sit with Harrison Ford. After I met him, I got real interested in learning more about him. How do you find that info pre-internet? Oh, well there were fan, there were magazines. Even back then you could find out information. Yeah. You just had to dig harder. Question four, what is Yoda's first name? Oh God. Minch. Minch, right? Minch. I think this came up before I started feeling like I was on overload. I didn't know Yoda had a first name. Goulash. <laughs> Cause that's what my brain is trying to remember his first name. That is incorrect. Mm -hmm. I suspect it's so. If I get it wrong, I'm eliminated, right? Yes. All right, so I'm gonna call for my, uh, my bailout. I'm gonna use my bailout. Here is your only multiple choice ballot for the game. Oh my God, they're all the same. Minch is like the most this is, the, this is the name that like sounds the most familiar, so I'm just gonna have to go with Minch. I feel like I saw Minch throughout the video. I'm gonna go with Minch. Minch, I do believe it is. That is correct. Mm. Woo, yeah! Oh, thank God. I was scared that it wasn't. He's little, and I heard Inch in my mind. Little Inch Yoda Minch. Now I'm gonna go when I'm on Star Tours, like in the line with my friends, and be like, by the way, Yoda's first name is Minch. And then they'll be like, why do we care? <laughs> Question five. The lightsaber sound was made from an old television and what other device? Um, I remember the picture in my head. I just don't know what it's called. I'm just gonna say film camera. Zoom, 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 zoom. A camera. It was like a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. A uh, movie projector. We used to have one of those back in the day. Let's think the lightsaber. Is it a film projector? I don't think it's a record player because it had the tape rolling on it. I'm using a bailout. Here's your multiple choice bailout for the game. I knew it. It was C, a film projector. The correct answer is a film projector. And I actually worked with those. Guess that gives away my age. <laughs> oh, thank God. Now I got another question I know I'm gonna get stuck on and I don't have the bailout anymore. I am sweating because I'm only halfway through and I am struggling. The correct answer was actually a film projector. Oh, I was not gonna guess that. A film projector makes that sound, Jim. That's frustrating knowing what it is but you don't know the name. That's horrible. Dude, I'm really sad. I feel like I let down George Lucas. No! <laughs> Damn it! I did not give the wrong answer. The game moves forward. You did not give the wrong answer. The game moves forward. Question six. The spacesuit worn by Bosk was recycled from what TV series? Um, Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. I know for a fact because I love Doctor Who. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Doctor Who. This is where I had, I was starting to hyperventilate. I guess I'll take the bailout then because I'm not confident enough on this one. Okay, here comes your multiple choice bailout. Oh, Doctor Who, of course, duh. You are correct. Yeah. In my mind, I wanted to make it at least halfway, so I'm already victorious in my mind. <laughs> Question seven. The Ewok spoke a combination of Nepalese and which other language? Tibetan. I remember thinking, oh, Mount Everest. How interesting that they combined the two. Cambodian? I'm gonna just say Taiwanese for the one, because I know it starts with a T, and that's the only T word that's coming up to me. Nepalese is the one that I remembered. What was the other one? What was the other one? What was the other one? I want to say it starts with the T, but I'm, I could be wrong. Crap. I'm going to have to use the bail on this one, I think. I'm thinking Taiwanese, but I'm this far and I don't want to risk it, so I'm just going to, like, I'm pulling in the bail. Here's the multiple choice. I want to say it was Tunisian. I'm picking Tunisian. For some reason, like, my heart is really saying it's Tibetan. You are correct. Yay! Okay, yeah, all right. The correct answer is Tibetan. <laughs> Shit! I heard everything I've heard of that country. So disappointed in myself. <laughs> Tibetan! Da! Anakin! You were the chosen one! Why couldn't you answer 10 questions about Star Wars? We just showed you the answers! Question eight. Though they didn't make the final cut, how many members of InSync appeared in Attack of the Clones? <sighs> I want to say it was three, but I'm not sure. I'm like 80%. Eight, question eight, 80% sure. I believe it was three. That's correct. Oh, good. Three, the magic number. That's funny. They didn't make the cut, but they could still had bragging rights. Yes, okay, yeah, question nine, woo. Question nine, which character from The Phantom Menace used a women's razor as a communicator device? Oh, dear. I remember seeing the picture, and I remember going, oh, a woman's razor, that's what registered. I know it was Liam Neeson. I cannot. Remember the name of his character. I remember seeing Qui-Gon Jinn's face for sure. 
So, and there was like, I don't remember anyone else being in that picture, so I'm gonna go with Qui-Gon Jinn. That's right. Yes! The answer was Qui-Gon Jinn. I never would have gotten it. I might have gotten it if I'd seen the list, but unfortunately I had to use that earlier, so. <laughs> Final question for the win, what was the budget for the original Star Wars movie? 11 million dollars. That's correct, you've won. I did, thank you. I feel pretty great, because I did not ex definitely did not expect to get all 10. Unfortunately, you lost. What did you think of the game? It's a good game. I really want to play it again. That was so hard. Oh my gosh. It's a little stressful to be tested. And you gave a lot of information that you didn't ask about. So it's like, oh, her number was 2187. And he was 43 inches tall. And you're just going, ah. Thanks for watching Too Much Information on the React channel. Want more React channel shows like this? Be sure to subscribe. Do you think you could have done better than us? Let us know in the comments. Goodbye. And may the force be with you.